Hello friend. So today we're gonna make my first official YouTube t-shirt. And by official I mean I'm making it not official as in I'm buying it somewhere. Um, I do have a a small hobby of I, I can design logos and whatnot for shirts and hoodies and such. Um, some of the videos I've made already you could have possibly noticed that some of the shirts and or hoodies that I've been wearing were my own design or you know for a, a local car club or whatnot but being as I'm on YouTube it's time to make a YouTube shirt I don't have screen grab on this computer I apologize for that but we have made the play button that I threw together real quick in a different program but we are gonna shoot for around six inches wide all right, we have a five inch logo. I'm planning on putting it in the center chest. We'll zoom in just a touch to make it easier to see. There we go, we've got a, a logo button. This is the software that my plotter came with. It is a US cutter plotter. One thing you need to remember, your image needs to be flipped horizontally. Whenever you go to cut the vinyl, it always ends up backwards. Now on the back, across between the shoulders-ish, I think I'd kind of like to have my YouTube name. Let's slide this over just a hair. Bring that up beside it. Our vinyl is just under 20 inches wide, so we're gonna try and stay under 18 to leave ourselves a little bit of space. Now this particular piece is, that's 10 inches wide. We're up to 16 inches wide. Should be easy to weed. All right, let's go ahead and cut it. <laughs> Simply roll it through, slice through it, weed it out. Now that you've got your piece cut out, you have to go through and weed it. That is removing all of the pieces that you don't want. Now this is cut, it's hard to see on camera, but you can see the edges. You sit there and you take a knife. I prefer to take a knife for a weeding tool and pull out the pieces you don't want. Now, one thing that I prefer to do whenever you're going, you get all your centers out. Those are the ones that are the simplest to pull. Depending on how deep your blade is set, because you have a plastic backing and then the vinyl on the front, I like to go around the edges of the item that I'm wanting to keep just to make sure that the there's no spots that didn't get cut thoroughly. Now that we've got everything around the edge, Hold, simply find a corner. There you go. We've got the YouTube button on there. Got my search handle in the back. I think that turned out pretty good. Let's try it on. Not too bad. Fits pretty good. Got my YouTube logo. Now we're ready to start making movies. And that's it. Got my shirt. I think we're done. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.